Um, I always find it interesting that people ask me why do you want to do native instead of denaturing. If you don't ask that to a mass spectrometrist, you know, and you ask a different question, even if you want to talk about food, do you want native food, natural food, or do you want unnatural food, un, un or denatured uh, things? So, for me, it's almost the opposite question. I, I think we should try to do everything native with as, as, at least sample uh, manipulation as possible, and that's what native is. So native MS of, of course is unique in that it can look at intact proteins, it can look at intact protein conformations, protein complexes. The majority of functions in the cell, in the human body, in the organisms are uh, conducted by uh, protein complexes, not peptides, not uh, proteins sitting alone, even though uh, there are some peptides biologically active in proteins, but I think the majority of functions are done by protein complexes. And uh, understanding biological functions require studying biologically active complexes. That's why we are uh, trying to develop new techniques for native MS. It has so many advantages and I think um, the nice thing is of course if you compare it with denaturing of antibodies, um, that there is a spectral congestion, you have many more peaks. Uh, the nice thing about doing intact native MS of antibodies is that you see the full picture of your antibody. You have done no sample manipulation, you have not digested it, you have not cleaved off glycans. And in one picture, and that's taken in a few minutes or so, you see directly the, the structural integrity of your antibody, the glycan profile. So it is the most easy way and uh, providing the most information uh, on, on the intact antibody from a structural analysis point of view. Even though native mass spectrometry is originating in the academic field, that this could allow us to get simpler intact spectra and this ultimately could be used within the QC environment for comparing lot to lot or comparing a biosimilar with an innovative product. With native mass spectrometry we had to start from scratch because of uh, all the peculiarities of the uh, transport and the salvation of those ions. We found that uh, yes we could come back and make it simple again and since our first um, publication uh, in collaboration with Albert Heck back in 2012, we were able to find that uh, basically every uh, unit of the instrument needs to be uh, modified to fit for to requirements of native MS. And it's not only a higher mass to charge ratio, though this is the biggest parameter, but it is also this um, uh, very important issue of dissolvation. I think the real advantage of Orbitrap technology and the way that the engineering has been performed in the Xactive series instruments is that desalvation is being achieved very efficiently. But if they now see that it's not that difficult anymore, I think this question will not be asked anymore um, because it's just closer to what we really want to understand. Mm -hmm.